What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with a game called Juno New Origins and this is a game just like Kerbal Space Program where we have to design and build our own rockets and manage our own space companies. So we're just going to jump right into it. I haven't actually played it at all and I figured it would be really cool to actually get a genuine first look at this and try and build our own rocket empire. I'm really excited to have another game kind of like Kerbal that isn't Kerbal. So we got to obviously go through the tech tree and develop ourselves some rockets. So the first thing we do, cool, two tech points, the Druidman side. This gives me the Druid. Interesting. Oh my god, that is a massive tech tree. All right. Backyard scientist. This gives me solid fuel type and a bunch of stuff. Sure, I guess we just unlock this. You know, I'm assuming we just have to unlock, unlock zero tech points. Yeah, so we just have to unlock, I think, all three of these initial insufficient tech points. Oh, this is RC stuff. There's cars. Well, that's interesting. Oh, we got a new customer, Mr. Buck Marshall. Awesome. So what do we got to do? We have to basically just launch a new craft, be under one kilometer above ground, get your rocket's acceleration over 10 meters per second squared, reach 25 kilometers above sea level, crash at least 500 meters away from the village. Okay, cool. All right, so this is our rocket builder. It's kind of cool. And, uh, you know, we just kind of have to learn camera controls, of course. Open the parts list. All right, well, what do we need to do? We need to add a fuel tank below. Oh, this is our command disc. Oh, I see. Oh, I can make it like super thin. Absolutely, yeah. I'm gonna make this thing, can I make it smaller? Oh, that's kind of cool that it's scalable parts. Really, you want it to be that tall? All right, this is a solid fuel rocket. We're literally just slapping a booster. <laughs> All right, sure, this seems smart. Yeah, no, this seems, this seems real intelligent. This is literally like taking one of the space shuttle side boosters and just putting wings on it and being like, screw it, we're gonna just... Yeah, can I... Okay, how do I... There we go. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. It looks kind of like a model rocket. How big is this, I guess, is the question. It doesn't tell us. 6,000... Okay, hold on. Mass, width... It's 0.7 meters in width, 4.2 meters in height. So this is literally a 12-foot long rocket, give or take. 13 foot, maybe? Something like that. It's really interesting. There's a lot more, like, technical adjustments we can do to each part, whereas Kerbal's kind of like each part has its own thing. This is like, you know, there's only one fuel tank for solid fuel, I guess. And we can just, like, we could make this huge, right? Like, that's... Oh, my... Oh, dear lord. Okay. Yeah, we could make some really big rockets. Anyway, we're good to go. Let's launch this thing. All right, this is pretty cool. Um, That runway looks super sketchy. This reminds me of the runway in uh, Everest, actually. There's a runway in Mount... Are we actually in Everest? That would be funny. But there's a runway at Mount Everest that's got like a 30 degree slope or something stupid. It kind of looks like that. And, I mean, we just press space. It's it's only like 15 feet tall, so... I, I, I press space. All right. So... Interesting. And then I can rotate this to my heading. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right, so if I switch to map mode, oh my god, you can zoom in and out and change. Yeah, okay, okay, this is this is ridiculous. Look at that. We're actually on like planet Earth or whatever. That's so cool. And you can zoom in. All right, so let's uh, let's pitch this thing. Can I pitch this way? Let's go to yeah. Let's go to 45 degrees. You can't. It's trying. So it's trying to get to 45 degrees, but obviously it can't because these fins are terrible and we're solid fuel. We're going. Oh no, there it goes very very slowly holy cow this thing is is going for the wind this is awesome this is a really really mountainous region of the map too this is insane how detailed this is i have no idea if these are supposed to be real planets or not this kind of almost looks like north america but not really it's it's kind of wrong so yeah i don't know i honestly have no idea oh we're way up in space now this is wicked 25 yeah we got 25 kilometers we got at least 500 meters away from the village absolutely and time to touch down no need to survive perfect can i just like pitch like 45 degrees down this is interesting i'm very curious it feels like there's gonna be a whole new set of physics to learn which i'm super excited about i know kerbal had an incredibly steep learning curve when i first started playing it so this seems like kind of the same thing it's got a lot of similar controls to kerbal which is cool i know they're uh in the trailer i'm pretty sure i saw some programming aspects to it so i'm not sure what that's all about but obviously programming automatic rockets would be great we're also just like sacrificing this rocket for the good of humanity so that's just that's just gonna happen is there a way for me to speed up time yes there is perfect let's just crank this up all right how far do we end up making it from the village oh like 30 kilometers away that's pretty good maybe a little less than 30 that's great we're gonna hit the ground going you know good good solid uh 800 meters per second 750 
And it's dead. Contract number two, we have to reach 30 kilometers above ground level, which is awesome. And then we have to have our command disc blow up the craft. Like we have to blow up, we're basically building a firework is what I'm getting here. So we have to blow up a craft, okay. All right, we have to reach 30 kilometers above ground and then blow up mid-flight. So let's do this, here we go. Engine's gotta ramp up. I did make it taller, but we do have a lot more fuel now, so we should be good. We're just gonna go absolutely straight up. I love this heading compass. This is sick. This is actually the coolest heading compass ever. That's gonna be super useful when we're manipulating our craft around uh, moons and stuff. We can just adjust the two angles you want to be at, make really precise maneuvers. I'm assuming there's some way we can program parts, but there's a huge parts list. I mean, we're really doing the basic stuff. I really want to go far in the career mode in this and actually like look at all the stuff you can do. It seems like it's a really, really intense game. 30% uh, fuel left in this stage. I don't know if we're gonna make it high enough, but let's give it a little bit of pitch anyway. We are totally running out of fuel. We've gotta be 30,000 meters above ground level. I don't know, we're only 16, 17. We do have a lot of velocity though. They probably wanted you to just use the exact same craft. What is this? This is the blow up button, right? Explode this part. Blow up your craft mid-flight. Am I supposed to blow up all the parts or just the one? Select a fuel tank and clicking on it. This will show you the menu with details. Okay, so we can blow up the fuel tank. That's really what we're going for. Gotcha. Click again to destroy it. Absolutely. All right, unpause. And that was it. Wow. That's, that's, that's great. All right, let's see if we can afford the third part here. RC Enthusiast, yes, we got enough stuff for that. Perfect. We're just gonna, you know, get that. We can also afford some stuff here. What is this, parachutes? We should definitely get some parachutes. That's perfect. And we don't have tech points for staging. We should definitely get staging next. But anyway, let's go back. At least we got parachutes now. We can start recovering our craft. Well, we're going to do this mission, obviously. The jump, where we have to apparently drive down the runway and just jump as far as we can. So I'm pretty sure we're just building a car. All right, we're off. This is this this is really slow. Thank God this runway's down a ramp. Look at this. It's nice, though. It drives, actually, the driving feels really good. It's a little slidey. But it's not too bad. I can see this being really, really good when we're on rovers on planets. But uh, currently, this is this is really bad. Like, I, we literally took a rocket, slapped it sideways, put some wheels on it. We're like, all right, well, we're going to jump it off the ramp. And, uh, you know, it's going to pay a bunch of money. Okay, perfect. We got 28 meter per second land speed achievement. That's awesome. This actually really feels like the early days of Kerbal. I really, really like it. Oh my god, that is a drop-off. All right, well, we're going to make it, obviously, 150 meters. Holy cow. And we're dead. I'm going to do one final mission, uh, and I think I'm going to do this one here, going sideways, where we have to actually launch a new craft, start grounded, crash at least 30 kilometers away from the village. So we got to, like, go really, really far into one direction. Uh, we've also got, you know, some more track challenges, which is cool. Build a better car. And all that, but I'd like to go sideways. I really want to, you know, I want to try and make this thing go in a sideways direction. All right, we'll make that a little bit bigger. Let's put a fuel tank underneath. Oh my god, there's people? There's people. Holy cow. Um, what? How, how big is this? This is 0.14 meters. Oh my god, this guy is, this guy is very large. That's a person to scale? All right, well, we only need to go 30 kilometers away. Let's put a fuel tank on this thing. Let's drag it down. Yeah, two meters tall, three meters. Wow, this guy is actually insane. That's awesome. There's a, geez, we're gonna need some big craft if we're making craft for people. Oh man, let's make this nice and pointy because everyone knows a pointy rocket is intimidating and a non-pointy rocket is just not. Uh, let's put a thruster on the bottom of this boy. Excuse me, let's, uh, I, mean, I, I said on the, all right, there we go. Let's just make sure we adjust. That's literally the max size of that thing. Okay. Hopefully that, that looks really, really small. I feel like this rocket's a lot larger than the last one we made. But anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, and then let's put some wings on it. All right, done. Let's, uh, let's get rid of you. Let's launch this bad boy. I don't know if this is going to work. We have max gyro force, right? We might need, you know, I think we need a bigger, I think we need a bigger fuel tank. Okay. Here we go. Uh, 
We're just going to set this guy to pitch 45 right away. And launch. Okay. The uh, solid fuel. Okay, well that was very successful. I think we need to go up first before I, I tip that over. With the tech tree, I can tell there's a lot of parts in this game. We're really gonna have to, you know, spend a lot of time getting some tech, doing some missions, but I really, really like this game. It's definitely Kerbal-ish, but it feels kind of, I mean, right now, anyway, it feels like we're playing with model rockets, but I guess it's because we haven't actually built anything significant. Is this honestly not enough, not enough thrust? Easy. I just put one thruster and duplicated it four times, so radials. Now we have four thrusters. Problem solved. This thing should launch off very fast, I would assume. I'm going to set the heading to 45 degrees. I'm going to set the pitch to, like, I don't know, 20, maybe. I really want it to go, like, far, you know? We got to get at least 30 kilometers away. And uh, press space. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just it just goes. Actually, like a rocket. That's amazing. Here we go. Nice, nice, full speed. Probably going to be a little bit below 20. Is it going to be... Oh, it might just keep arcing down, actually, because the gyro probably isn't fast enough. We're going Mach 1, apparently. Oh, yeah, we're going way faster than 334 meters per second. We're going, like, Mach 2. Oh yeah, we just got, we just got Mach 0.5. Oh my god, this thing's awesome. It's actually, look, that 20 degree pitch is perfect. We're actually like right on zero. <laughs> oh, and we're out of fuel. How far are we away right now? 27? 28? 20, it, 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 to be honest, it kind of feels more like we're a weapons manufacturer than a rocket manufacturer. But anyway, we didn't leave atmosphere. We definitely went sideways, and we're definitely going to crash. That's awesome. That's so good. All right, I'm going to try one more time, though, because I want to try and send it maybe up at a little bit more of an angle, maybe 45 degrees. I feel like we can get a lot further, so let's just set our heading to 45. Yeah, it seems perfect. Good enough. And then we're going to set our pitch to 45 as well. Now we should actually, like, maybe clear out of the atmosphere. I'm not sure. Well, let's see what happens. This is sick. It really feels like we're, we're flying model rockets. And I really want to learn more about this game because I feel like there's a lot of advanced parts. I definitely, in the tutorial, saw some programming type things or more, I guess, uh, more rocket controls. And I feel like we could really make some rockets to do some, you know, self-landing SpaceX kind of stuff in this game without having to install a bunch of mods and stuff. But here we go. We are, uh, we're flying now. We're going to be so much further away than last time. That's pretty great. All right. Heating up a little bit, it looks like. Getting a little bit of that orange tinge from the atmosphere. No big deal. We need to get staging, too, and separations so we can stage our rockets. There's definitely uh, n definitely a lot more to, to do. Just like Kerbal, though, I feel like there's going to be a really steep learning curve, but I really like the fact that all the parts are scalable. I think that's a really, really good feature. It's going to really give us a lot of customization options for the rockets, and those aren't even at all close to centered, but it doesn't matter. Alright, how far are we going? It just says 30 kilometers, but I, like, I don't even see the village behind us. It just maxes out at 30, I guess. This is awesome. I can't wait to go much further in the game, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, we're crashing. Uh, you know, we got a lot more to do in career mode. There is a whole sandbox mode as well, but I figured career mode would be a nice way to kind of you know, learn the aspects of the game and, of course, progress through. Now, there are a lot more missions, so I might do some missions in my spare time. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you want me to keep doing more of these missions or if you want me to just, like, learn the whole game overnight and play sandbox mode. To be honest, it seems really complicated, so I feel like it might be a good thing to actually, you know, go through and learn some of the things as we play. But let me know what you guys think. Obviously, we've got a lot of different missions to do, and, uh, you know, it's really exciting to build rockets in another space game. And I feel like once we get more of a hang of the building controls and things, this is going to be a wicked powerful game to build some crazy creations in. So let me know what you guys think, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.